Happy Wednesday, Frank Rock House of Orange Sports Channel. Man, does this sports week keep getting better or what? Tennessee wins the national championship Monday night in baseball. Frank Rock, you guys probably heard me talk about this before on here. Going back to when I was a child, NBA, loved it. My team growing up always has been. Going back to the Showtime Lakers, Magic Johnson, Worthy, Kareem, Cooper, Thompson, Byron Scott, all these dudes going up through the Kobe years. And guess what? Well, I never imagined tonight. 17th pick. When we're sitting here waiting, mock drafts have Dalton Connect going anywhere from fifth on down a little bit more. Never imagined with that 17th pick, 17th pick as I'm sitting there joking and I'm like, I'll keep on falling to the Lakers, keep on falling to the Lakers. And it happened. Dalton Connect is the Laker. Yes. I am fired up about that for numerous reasons. Obviously, Dalton Connect getting picked, I would have had an interest anyway. But the fact that he falls to the team I've always pulled for, you got to be kidding me, man. What a steal for the Lakers, though. Let's, let's talk business on this one. From a Lakers standpoint, and we'll look at it two ways, and we'll link this and tag it. Hopefully, I'll get some Lakers fans who are not necessarily Tennessee, but look at some Dalton Connect stuff in here. So the first thing, what's Dalton Connect bring to the table? We know he can score. SEC Player of the Year, runner-up National Player of the Year to Zach Eady, kind of debatable. You know, a lot of people are going to debate back and forth, should he have won it, should he have not. But how many times did Dalton Connect carry Tennessee on his back this year? That Tennessee team made it to the Elite Eight. In that Elite Eight game against Purdue, the national runner-up, he scored – uh, I can't remember how many points he had now. What was it, 30-some points? He carried Tennessee that game. He was the only guy who scored. He did that numerous times this year. The guy can score. He can drive. He can handle the ball. His defense, it's good enough. It's good enough. Is it great? No. Is it bad? No. Don't connect fits in to this Laker team. It said, you know, what do the Lakers need? It said they need ball handlers. Well, you got LeBron. You have. As of now, D'Angelo Russell, will he stick around or not? That's going to be the big question because there is a player option there. Me personally, I hope he does because I think they're better with him. But it's about getting him all to match. Of course, you got J.J. Reddick, first-time coach. What kind of offense does he run? What kind of assistance is he going to bring in? What kind of a system are they going to run? But uh, what was cool to me was after Philadelphia picked right before them, it, it was no time. You saw the Lakers. Reddick, Rob Palenka, all these guys up shaking hands. Kurt Rambus, saw Kurt Rambus in there. Um, they knew quick where they were going. Don't connect as a Laker. You fit in. Could he be that third star in L.A. is the question because it keeps talking about, well, could the Lakers make these trades to get John Day Murray? Could they try to get, um, gosh, I can't remember who else I've seen them possibly get, and that's one of the, main names I've seen. I know there's another one out there that I've seen him link with. Of course, Trey Young, there's a possibility linked there as well. So, I mean, could Connect be traded? Sure, he could. I'll tell you, though, that based on how quick they picked him, it didn't look to me like a team that was thinking about trading him on that one. And this was a big pick for the Lakers because next year, their pick actually goes to the New Orleans. New Orleans Pelicans as part of that Anthony Davis trade a few years back. So if we look to Lakers, LeBron's number one, AD number two on it. Who's your third guy? That was questionable last year. Uh, too much talent for that to be a play-in team. That's why Darvin Ham was out of a job. Too much talent for that to be a play-in team, especially with all the guys that they had on that team. LeBron, AD alone should carry you at least a four to a five seat, in my opinion. Russell, Austin Reeves. Now, Austin Reeves, Dalton Connect. I compared the two on here throughout the season of basketball. Can Connect be a better version of Reeves? Is he kind of what Reeves is? I think there's going to be some similarities in the two. But it adds another scorer, which the Lakers need. It adds another shooter, which the Lakers need. Of course, you have Hachimura, but it takes away some of these guys. You know, what's a Gabe Vincent going to do? Didn't play a whole lot last year. Um, you know, I think that reduces your roles for like Cam Reddish and uh, 
you know, some of the guys from last year. Look at that Lakers roster again. So I want to pull that up. And of course, you know, if, if you happen to be um, a Laker fan in here looking at, so again, basically connect, he can play next to whomever. He can play next to whomever because you got Max Christie, who's a restricted free agent. They're high on him. They want somebody who can develop him. Um, you know, Hachimura, Jackson Hayes, as far as I know, will be back. They drafted last year Jalen Hood Shifano. I don't think that was the right pick for them last year. He didn't play much this year, but can they develop him? How's that going to work with him? Uh, Torian Prince, play. he's a power forward, kind of irrelevant there. Cam Reddish, I mentioned him. Jared Vanderbilt, you hope, will be back. You know, you got Christian Wood at forward. There's talent on this Lakers team, and the Lakers just fell into a steal in this draft. They said it on here. He fell because he's 23 years old. There's no medical records. One of the analysts on uh, ESPN, he said, I'm contacting GMs. Like, what is going on here? And said, uh, there's no medical record. Said, it's pretty much he's 23 years old. All the guys getting picked were around 20, if not younger, maybe give or take a little bit. To me, I'm ecstatic on this. I am ecstatic. Again, the the question mark to me is, I don't know what kind of system J.J. Redick is going to run on this. But Don't Connect can play next to LeBron James. He can play next to Anthony Davis. Don't Connect has got dog in him. Make no mistake about it. If you've not watched his highlights, all right, if you're a Laker fan, I hope a lot of Lakers fans will come in here. We'll see. But watch his highlights. See if that's not a guy you want on this team right here. Tennessee fans, we know what we've got with Don't Connect. How's he going to fit? I think he fits great in L.A. You can go a lot of different ways depending on how they play with Anthony Davis because you could go lineups with LeBron, Connect. Uh, if Russell's back, I don't know what they'll do with Russell. You could go Austin Reeves. You could put Hachimura in. You could go AD as the big guy. If you do that, all right, if you went with the lineup of, let's say all these guys are back, of Russell, Reeves, Connect, LeBron, AD, that's a potent offensive lineup. I don't know how it is defensively, to be honest with you, but as far as offensively, that's a heck of a lineup, man. Um, again, fired up, man. I am fired up on this one. So fired up, so happy. I cannot believe he fell this far. I hate it for him that he fell this far, but I also love it for him as well. He fits in this Lakers team. He will fit right in. Um, you know it's LeBron's show. You know it's AD's show. You know it's their two show. You're probably, if all things go right, going to have Bronny James out there as well. I don't see a reason for Bronny to take minutes from Dalton Connect other than just father son to play uh but does somebody come in and try to kind of blackball the lakers out of brawny i think brawny will follow the lakers tomorrow night it's uh kind of what i'm thinking this is a steal this is a steal for the lakers this is a great spot for dalton connect i don't know that you could add, ask much more on this you know i know when they talk about it with the rookie contract when he comes up to sign that next one he'll be about 28 but you look at some of these guys that's their prime that's their prime. That's a good year to get a nice contract on that. You know, it's not 25 years old and they're getting it, but still at that time, he does his job, which I think he will. Uh, Laker fans, you're going to be happy. You're going to be happy with this. I'm wrapping up on that one. That's pretty awesome. I'm fired up. Baseball recruiting, uh, I'm starting that up tomorrow. We're going to start cut. I've seen not so much on here, but I've seen it on other websites. Hey, man, where's baseball, college baseball recruiting at? Right here. It's coming tomorrow. Have a great night. Frank Rock, House of Orange Sports Channel. Make sure you like and share this out. If you have not and you like the content, make sure you hit that subscribe. If you want to say thanks, there's that super thanks down the bottom right-hand corner. Have a great night. Last but most certainly not least, go Lakers and go Vols.